2020 is going to be <laughs> fucking lit. <laughs> oh, the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The opposite, opposite one. One. I'd rather something up my ass than yeah. down my throat. Oh, oh he said Nick. Yeah, some days I feel unfazed. Like when I'm with my friends with a cup raise. And I go right back at it like an automatic. More drinks, more songs, more beats to rap. A new era. Get my P's and those O's. These are Phillies with my orange and blacks. I feel home. From Citizen Bank back to Camden Yards. It's a tale of two cities. And trust we go hard. Trust we go hard. Yes, we go hard. You said we go hard. I said we go hard. Rocking my vibe cruise. stocking up on the loose. The delivers come easy. But my life is a doozy. And yes, I'm choosy. And no, I won't settle. But I still take pop off. Why? Hello there. <laughs> Fuck. Oh God. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, delicious uh, fans or whatever, whoever's watching. It's your boy oh Azi. We are back with the Mr. Pseudo Intellectual and uh, and uh, our man, our man, our woman, Peter. Peter, what are you again? Man or woman, or oh, whatever you, you can be, whatever you want, Peter. So, I, how have you been, boys? I'm been all right. I don't really know what my gender is anymore. I kind of did too much surgery. That's okay. Most of them don't. Don't worry about it, bro. That's all right, Mr. Sudo. How are you? I'm good for the most part. <laughs> good for the most part. Oh, okay. Well, well, uh, a lot of things have has happened uh, since we since uh, you know since our last uh, video hasn't been, boys. Let's uh. Let's uh let's slowly sl- let's slowly break it down, I guess. Um uh, our favorite black man won won the fight. Hip hip hooray. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. The, the GD <laughs> brothers won, baby. Oh yeah, both of them won. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. KSI bully two disabled people on the in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why? Why were they disabled? <laughs> Did you see how they boxed? <laughs> that bro, is fair, yeah. sperm, sperms and the Mexican got rocked, bro. <laughs> sperms. <laughs> bro, like, uh, bro, but I, okay, all respect to sperms, right? Like, he, he had like he, uh, several weeks to, um, he, he had only two weeks to train and he lost like a lot of weight for it, but still, bro, man, man was tumbling and twisting. He had no balance. He got knocked down I, so I quickly. Mean, it, it was, it was sperms first fight, right? Well, yeah, but then Sperm, no, but according to KSI's manager, he's like, oh, Sperm's, he's a road man, so he can definitely fight. Oh, he's a tough guy. Oh, oh I, think that's he, kind of I, think that'll, I think that'll be his last fight after what happened. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, uh, look, to his credit, though, he still did better than the supposed pro boxer. What was that guy doing, oh. bro? What was he doing in the ring? <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Oh, the man was slim shady. Like, I, I say Sperm's <laughs> was, like, had no balance. Bro, this guy was literally a leaning tower of pizza, pizza man. Like this guy <laughs> was like shaking all the time, and then he got punched. He gets punched once. He's like, "Wait, no, no, the back of my head, no." Fuck back off. of my head. <laughs> Referee, he hit me behind the back. <laughs> I was like, "What?" Uh, Dude, he's meant to be a pro boxer. He's meant to be used to taking this stuff. I would imagine if you're pro, right? If you're pro, yeah, exactly. Well, he got the paycheck, but I think he, that's the last fight he's gonna get in a while. So, uh, uh, yeah, what's good his job. Name? What's, his name? what's his name again? Pineda, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I just know Pineda. Uh, okay. Pineda, she is more accurate. <laughs> Pineda, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Now, the, what? Sperms and Pineda. Oh my god. What yeah, dude. <laughs> they, were, uh, they were both punching bags that night. But hey, credit to Deji, though. He won his first fight. Good job. <laughs> Long he overcame. Uh, what? What's his face? What, what's his name again? Oh my god, Fuzzy! Fuzzy! really? Fuzzy really got, got got beaten up, didn't he? My god! Yeah. Yo, his uh, eye he got, got fucked he up got real bad. Yeah. Oh. Did he outworked him straight up in that fight? Props yeah, to him. Props I'd to say him, like though. that was a good fight though in the end because both fighters did want it, but uh, Deji was the better man in the end. Deji just wanted yeah. more, baby. Yeah, uh, I get which just go. I guess it just goes to show, like, just because you have a beautiful physique doesn't mean you're gonna necessarily win, like we've been saying. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But but uh, since we're on this topic, uh, my boy Sam Hyde, the Candyman, hey, 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 coming for you. That's cool. <laughs> he threatened to kill what? us. <laughs> after he has his Bro. victory speech. And you know what? And you know, Hassan couldn't take it. He ran. He's scared. He uh, <laughs> and he, br- he brushed Sam Hyde off as a Nazi, and then he didn't stream the next day. And this is a guy who prides himself for streaming uh, 
uh, every single day. But the one day <laughs> Sam Hai calls him out, he suddenly like stops streaming. Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, it's, called, uh, it's, ca- it's called it's it's called a tactical retreat, bro. Speaking of tactical yeah. re- retreat, uh, n- uh, Ayame Ayame streamed recently, didn't she? My yeah, God. Fuck it, huh? Oh, right, that, that, so was, that was quick. Okay. <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's, just, let's just get it out of the way. Yeah? The VTuber, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the daily VTuber hate, you know? Yeah, how, bro. How tag... she got what? I oh, uh... Of... Three months, A little it? over two months. It was nearing three. Uh... Oh, my God. Hey, yo, is she live now? Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> she she, she streamed she stream for three days in a row. Holy shit. That's a record, dude. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, yeah. The b- bank account's running low, man. You know, you, you yeah, only can spend it, so much bro. on your boyfriend, bro. Bro, bro re- rent is due and tax day is coming. She, <laughs> oh, more like her boyfriend left her, bro. Confirmed. That's why she's oh. screaming. Please, please love me, love me. Yeah. Oh my god, when when was the last time she streamed for three days in a row? No, uh, like, five, like five months ago. Oh, fuck. no, no, you, <laughs> okay. you didn't, you didn't, you didn't know that. This is usually the routine. Like, uh, oh, she, she leaves. Yeah, she'll disappear for like months on end, and then uh-huh. she'll come back. She'll come back oh, to drop some merch, and then oh. uh, uh, usually Fair. a day before a three D concert, probably, and then she'll do the three D concert the next day, and then Fair. she'll stream. She'll stream for like a day, two if you're lucky, and then she'll disappear. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. See. So hopefully she streams. Hopefully she streams for three days, uh. And you know what the worst part is? She she blows up every single time. Yeah, <laughs> she does. Yeah. It's like it's like see it's like seeing a drug addict relapse. You people suck. <laughs> you people all suck. Oh. Well. Uh, that's well. uh well. Anime okay, was okay. a mistake. I mean, a wise I mean, man, a wise man saying, once right? did. the the Nakirium or something like that. Like um, the like what? Yeah, uh, it's a, N- Nakir Ayame for uh, I- Ayame Kaigai Nikis. So they're like, oh, she's back, Nakirium. <laughs> Yo, bro, bro, just, just do drugs at that point. Too. It's better than this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, well, okay. Just a disclaimer: we are not encouraging drug use. Okay, it's yeah, bad. Yeah, please. Uh, but <laughs> you know drugs. your time can be better spent like working out, guys. Come on. But if, go if you're an, if you're an, if you're a like Nakiri Ayami fan, maybe consider it. I don't know. We go gym. Like, we go touch, gym. Touch some fucking grass, bro. We go, gym, we go gym. Yeah, go gym. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if uh, <laughs> if you're new here, uh, I'm not a fan of Ayame. In fact, I think she's a lazy entertainer. <laughs> I was, I was oh my say god. Something worse. Oh my I god. Something worse there. No, I think she's lazy. I don't uh I don't respect her as a creator at all. Oh uh <laughs> that's not I, I'm, too I, I'm, and I, and I'm I'm fully open to uh, a discussion about this. So if she wants to come on and uh, debate me, then uh <laughs> <laughs> more than we'll, Bro, I think, I more think, than you guys wouldn't even be able to debate. You guys should be speaking Chinese the entire time. <laughs> I I speak some Jap. I speak I speak some Korean. <laughs> I can speak. Oh, okay, guys, that's enough. Bro, that's enough that, dude, bro, your your level of Taiwanese is not gonna match a fucking <laughs> Vietnamese, bro. Fucking hell. I, I, uh, I can I can I can speak her alien language, and you'll see. All right, all right, all right, guys, guys, guys. All right, guys, guys, guys. All right guys, that's, let's 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 leave the the demon lady alone. All right, before all right, her friends, before 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 her friends leak out IP address. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, so what else? What else? What else? What else has happened? Oh my gosh! Uh, all I can say is, uh, you know, dude, guys, I just want to say, dude, our our, our father, Daddy Tate, got banned. Daddy Tate, oh yeah, Daddy Daddy Tate got banned. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So uh, like, I, I, it's a complex situation. Well, not really complex. It's pretty fucking obvious what's happening. But I'll let <laughs> yeah. you guys say it. Say your piece. Just say your piece. Uh, uh Adley, would you, you like can... to uh, proceed? Because I I have a few things to say. Oh my God! Please so proceed, okay, so 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 recently, uh, a guy, a very popular guy named Andrew Tate, nice man, nice nice head, you know, can you can see the light shine from his head. Recently, got banned off of basically every single social media, right, guys? Yep. Or yeah. for being what too based, I guess. Uh, bro, mark? I I, dude, I cried that day, man. Honestly, you cried that <laughs> day. <laughs> genuine yeah. genuine tears were shed when he was banned. It was it was because it, it, it is it is really interesting because I I find like obviously Andrew Tate has has some some weird weird stuff right but he just has some uh, he does have a lot of good points as well like for example if if you know for a very good one is like if danger pops up 
men has to have to step up and protect who they need to protect. I absolutely agree with 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 the men in in this kind of sense. But uh, and, well, since since uh, you know we live in an age where social media is a thing, everyone just kind of focuses on all the terrible stuff he says. So obviously, I well, think we we hear. Uh, we here, I think we are more on we we see both sides of Andrew Tate stuff. We agree and we disagree with him in many ways. So yeah, take it away, boys. What do you guys think of the situation? Well, for me, all I can say is that from what I what I truly understand about this is that I, I if you if you really look past you know if you really look into what Andrew says, bro, you you find that what he talks about in in a really exaggerated and, and extreme manner, it's really just about. How you have to this world is a cruel world you know this world is not cut we're going to be kind to you at all if it's gonna if, you, if you're down it's going to keep you down and what he's really trying that whole top g mentality is really telling you to step it up you, you need money to survive you need to you need to you know train yourself you know a healthy mind a is a healthy body right you, you know why because status is everything these days right you want to get into places you need to look the part you need to be the part bro that's, that's what it true, means to be yeah. a top g like can I just say one thing, guys? Uh, okay, uh, those who are... I think I'm going to scare off a lot of women with this one, okay? Oh, All dear. I can say now is... What, what it truly made me realise is that the feminist community and LGBT community, they're just a bunch of bullies, if you think about it. Oh. Okay, okay, uh, in, in, okay, let's put it this way, okay? Imagine a situation, you're, you're in school, you, you preach about, you know, your beliefs, you preach about, you know, like... Uh, I really like the sport. I really like to play this instrument. And then a, a group of people just fucking give you shit for it. Isn't that what bullies do? Give you shit for the things you preach about? Yeah. Yeah. So Definitely. isn't this the exact same thing? Why Andrew was, was banned or how he was able to be banned by this feminist group is because he's really just one man. You know, he's alongside his brother, but he doesn't really talk about all his connections. He's that one guy. Preaching about you know what it mean what it takes to be a man how what a man has to be tough a man has to be so and so you know people call this toxic toxic masculinity sometimes you have to be a toxic man to survive in this world because you can't be pushed around by nobody you can't allow that to happen and then mm-hmm, yeah. fucking all these feminists just swarm around him and say oh you know toxic 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 oh you hate women oh you're gonna give birth to a lot of toxic men fuck off so. Who's gonna help us men when, when we're down in the press? You're gonna, they're gonna be our oppressors if we're down, if we're not above them, you know? If we're not in control, if we let women be in control, we're finished. You know, we're done as men. The whole idea of masculinity built society of the old, and this is what, this is what we're resting on, you know? Their work, our work. If we allow this to continue, we're just gonna have a whole society of weak men, which is not what we want, dude. Society will fall if we if there are just weak men around. So I'd say yeah. that feminists are honestly you look look at this this way they just target Andrew because he's that one guy, like how a guy who's talking about you know good work work ethic working out, uh I know maybe maybe his his views on polygamy is kind of interesting I'm indifferent about it it's mm. it's your choice in and the end. Sus. But, but still like. Think, look at it this way, okay? There is a podcast on the internet which survives, which is called Kill All Men. And that's okay. <laughs> and it's run by women. So yes, what's the... No, yeah, for real. You can look it up. Look it up, guys. It. Yeah. It's a thing. It's a real thing. And that still stands. And no one's doing anything because she's a woman. It's a double standard. You know, if a man said all those things, he's done. And, and that's what Andrew was trying to talk about. You know, he was warning us guys prepare for what's what's next you know he talks about this matrix and i think it's true because you bend to the will of society man you gotta break out of the matrix so feminists you all you're just a bunch of bullies man you guys try to act pitiful but that's just a double standard okay we pity you because that's how society looks at it Hmm. yeah interesting 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 i do i do agree with uh with the notion of uh, as time goes by men are slowly becoming weaker and weaker and weaker in, in all aspects. Uh, is that a problem? Most definitely. I do uh, feel that uh, whatever age range, you know, we are in, boys, you know, uh, we are, I guess, how, 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 how old are we? We are in our but mid-20s, we, I guess. We yeah, are in our mid-20s, in our I guess. Yeah. And I would say that we are probably the last generation of 
of guys, of, of men, of com- I guess. Of competent men. Of men. You know? Competent we, men. Yeah, that's true. It's a small society now, you know. No one's gonna no no men is gonna, you know, go up and, and stand out because that's apparently arrogant and selfish and apparently were insensitive to women like that. But it's bullshit. Okay. We can't give into yeah. that system. It's complete it's a farce. You know, look at it this way, okay, Azzy? The fucking mm-hmm. Taliban has its own social media platform. Oh. So why can't one man, one bald man with his Bugatti talk about, you know, preaching about masculinity and the importance of being a man and working hard? Fucking get banned. It's bullshit, isn't it? Because the Taliban is just not a group which is targetable by women because they all just shoot women. Andrew hasn't done anything <laughs> but just said a few mean things that women aren't happy about. You know how sensitive yeah. these oh, women yeah. are, bro. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. The whole idea oh, Mr. of bull- Mr. Sudo, what do you what do you think about all this stuff? You've been, you've oh, been my, quiet my bad, my bad, my bad, Mr. Mike. I was like, I was <laughs> no, no, my ten. No, Peter, no, Peter, 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 you're not confident with what you believe in, and you're sensitive. That's what women are. Fundamentally, you guys come together and you're just one big shit fest of drama. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if if I say more, well, uh, I think women will actually come to find my IP address and say, "Oh, you you said a few things. I'm gonna be a deplatform, whatever." Women ooh. fucking target someone who actually matters. Yeah, like the Taliban. Make a difference, bro. Go go vegan or something, for all I care. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. The floor is yours, Mike. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that got, I, think, I, think, that... I think everything, everything about, I think all all three of our complaints about Andrew Tate came out through Peter, you know, genuinely. You I'm, know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need, I'm gonna need a voice band to carry the tension out of this fucking room. <laughs> all right. Wow. Oh. Add the room a bit. Add the room a bit, yeah. Well, well, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to go into politics in regards to this because uh honestly that that'd be kind of gay in all honesty so <laughs> i'm just gonna i'm just gonna give some very uh mild and probably a few takes that will come off as a bitch move but uh you know it, that's just that's just how it is sometimes so right now there's two sides of the uh like every situation there's two sides those who are defending tate uh you know, adamantly uh, defending him, uh, basically have his entire cock down their throat, and uh, oh. the other, the other side, which, uh, which the second they see a bald head with a bit of scruff yeah. on the face, they oh. just, they just lose it. They lose all sense of like control over their emotions, and they just, they just wanna, they just wanna deplatform as it goes on. So uh, I think both sides are pretty retarded. If I'm, if I'm trying to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. true that's yeah. true. It's, yep. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've complimented Andrew Tate many times on this podcast because I genuinely uh, agree with some, with some of his philosophies. I do think men should be strong. I do think they should go to the gym. I do think they should be, you know, um, they should protect what's theirs and, you know, just be more dominant. The 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 way you're meant to be but at the same time he also had he's also pretty stupid in his own right (laughs) let's not let's let's not pretend andrew tate has never said stupid shit (laughs) (laughs) absolutely absolutely he has he said some mess yeah yeah Uh, also i i oh dude okay uh i'm not gonna go off on a tangent i'm just gonna say this uh you are uh, the the second you silence someone, that just tells everyone that you yourself have nothing to say. You you just hate you just hate having your opinion challenged. Uh, this whole That's thing true. is good point. Yeah, th- this whole societal uh this whole societal shit where the way humanity is progressing, how men are getting weaker and all that shit. I'm not qualified to talk about that shit. I barely talk to people. I fucking hate people. I'm not qualified <laughs> to talk about that shit. But, <laughs> but you know what I do But you know what? I'm self-aware. I know I'm no expert, and I'm definitely not trying to send some sort of message. I'm just some retard on the internet speaking his opinion. Um, 
every now and then i uh, not every now and then all the time i see some i see some idiot uh spout the stupidest thing on twitter i've ever seen in my life and he gets and he gets thousands and thousands of likes and i go through the threads and i just see the same shit it's like i'm it's like i'm watching uh it's like i'm watching a clone factory dude these people don't have a mind of their own they just they actively look for things to make a problem out of <laughs> and and they never offer any sort of solution they they make problems and they never offer solutions. They're they're actively encouraging you to ignore the problem. <laughs> Why? That, that's that's the Matrix, bro. That's the game of the Matrix, man. He warned us about this. He warned, he warned us about the Matrix. The mic. He warned us about the Matrix, man. This is the Matrix uh, planting things in your mind. My <laughs> uh, <thank> gosh. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, that <clears throat> either way. Whether you're a smart person or a complete fucking retard. Either way, everyone deserves to speak their opinion. Now, did Andrew Tate break the TOS? Yes, probably did. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as I hate to admit it, uh, Twitter is a... Uh, I don't want to use this word, but they're a progressive private company. Progressive. They're very much... They're very much on the liberal side of things, and that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Be uh, d be whatever side of the political spectrum you want. Uh, and because they're on that side, they have their own set of rules, and it's their platform. Fine, fine, whatever. Have your rules, and Andrew Tate broke them. Fair enough. <clears throat> that doesn't mean he deserves to be, uh, permanently banned for it. That's. <laughs> You know, and I, I every time we bring up mm -hmm. the idea that Andrew Tate should be challenged, they just go, uh, they just go, he's a literal human trafficker, motherfucker. There, th there's been so many, uh, there's so many holes in those allegations that you that that it's basically the Titanic after they hit the the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, until he's actually convicted, or unless there's definitive proof that he's some sort of dangerous criminal i don't want to fucking hear it he deserves to have an opinion that's the very concept of free speech and uh uh the even that allegation of him like abusing his girlfriend with the belt she came out she came out and said that it was her kink she asked him to do oh, that wow. uh, by the way oh, I have to wow. back you up mike she said it twice by the way she had to make yeah, two twi separate videos twice uh but what did where was all those accusations after she said it Nothing. They go silent. <laughs> Radio silence after that. Uh, every time, and every time someone still used, he abused his girlfriend. Every time they show them that she defended him, it just goes silent. You see, that's what these people do. They make a narrative, they make a problem, and then they'll spread it everywhere. And the second is challenge, they either just run away or they try to silence the opposition. <laughs> now, ev like I said, I'm no. I'm no expert on these subjects. I'm not. But this is supposed to be a discussion. And a discussion requires two sides. And <laughs> let, the pe let the people hear both sides and make their own damn conclusion. The second you try to silence one side, that just shows you're disingenuous and you're, and you're a loser. No, oh, bro, my, I can feel that like you're trying so hard. <laughs> There's so many different terms you would have used, but I see. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I, because at this point, yeah, uh, these people don't understand a single thing. They think that just because someone's mean, they can't make a good point. So fine, fine. I'll lower my speech so that you don't get your <laughs> fragile little feelings hurt. I, th I think you're being disingenuous. I think you're scared. I think you're scared that <laughs> someone was finally challenging your opinions. I think you're scared that someone is finally thinking for themselves and not just conforming to this idea of yours. Mm. Was Andrew Tater was Andrew Tate perfect? Hell no. No. Hell no. Far from it. But you but the but the fact that you're trying to silence him means that you have something you don't want people hearing. Mm, that's all. That's true, yeah. Uh, and that that's that's all I'm gonna say on that subject. It is it yeah. is very uh, it is it is very interesting, especially like after all these these woke shenanigans started popping up, right? It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like 
well, obviously, we, we all agree it's, a, it's, it's one big cult. But it's, it's very interesting how people just want, they just want to sit there, say things, and everyone just agrees with them. And if one person goes, no, I disagree with you, or I scream louder than you, and I'm better than you, hands, I'm better than you. It's just, yeah. uh, I'm, just I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, though. People just can't I'm handle just constru- constructive criticism, you know? People just don't like hearing, I disagree. You know, people are just it's not with their facts these days. Not even, not even c- constructive criticism. They just don't want a discussion. They want, they want basically a control. They want control. They want mm, to say. Yeah, they that's want, a good word. That's a good word. Yeah, control. Yeah, they want, they want to say something, and then they want everyone in the room to go yes, yes. Uh, they don't want to. They don't even want to hear. Uh, but what if they don't even want to hear that? They don't want to hear it's, it. Um, actually, uh, according to. It's, uh, it's, it's either go with the flow or you're a Nazi. That's how it is. <laughs> Actually, and put it already... this way. It, in the most literal sense these days, you want to put it that way, it's literally, if, if, if you're not with me, you're against me. That's literally go the Go with the flow or you're yeah. a Nazi. Wow, that's a bulky and, uh, game. <laughs> and uh, I can already imagine if, if, this, cl- if this ever gets clipped, uh, I, can al- I already know the responses are either going to be, oh yeah, you should debate Nazis. Oh yeah, Nazis deserve free speech. Bro, Bro, you you just decided they're a Nazi on your own. <laughs> That's not how it works, buddy boy. <laughs> yeah, the fact that you're just trying to brush everyone who challenges you as a Nazi means that you're a loser, <laughs> straight up. Can we can we can we just can, okay, can we can we can we just uno reverse cut it? Like, well, if you if you don't let me debate you, you're a fucking Nazi. Ah, what you could well, do now? Well, we'll put it that way. It doesn't it doesn't make us any better, does it? If, if ah, I just do. I just want to watch the world burn and see what happens. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it'll be like a, like a never-ending argument of me calling the person Nazi and the person calling me a Nazi. My gosh. The amount I mean, of times you said that we're, we're probably going right to we're, we're get banned on YouTube for saying that word too many times. So. Bro, it I mean, bro, it, actually, it, it beats shitting and coming. You know, <laughs> we're not <laughs> shitting and coming. Shitting yeah, and coming, it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but since you so, uh, funny brought up the uh, being banned on YouTube thing, that's actually a pretty relevant topic right now so uh oh dear. let's talk about it uh all righty so do you are you guys familiar with a creator by the name of cory kenshin no mm, nope Still in, bro. <laughs> all right so remember remember back in the old days when markiplier and jacksepticeye were posting those really really autistic <laughs> uh horror game let's plays Okay. Where, they just scream, mm-hmm. where they just scream at the top of their lungs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, well, uh, you know, there's like a whole community for those, right? So, where they mm-hmm. just play indie horror games, all that. Uh, some YouTubers that fall into this uh, community of creators would be something like Jack Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Eight Bit Ryan, and Corey Kenshin is one of these people. Okay. Uh. Recently, uh, Corey Kenshin released a video on YouTube where he was calling out the YouTube support for being racist. Now, okay. now normally when I see a video like that, I immediately go, oh, fucking great. <laughs> what, what, what are they trying to do this time? So, but, you know, I decided to bite the bullet. I'm a fair man, so I watched the video. And I know Corey Kenshin. I know Corey. I've seen his stuff. He's very family friendly. He's he he doesn't curse, uh, ever really. And we even if there's, curse, yeah. And if there's a curse word in the video in the video games, he'll even, you know, he'll even censor that. Uh, wow. So he's he's squeaky clean. He's advertiser friendly, and he's big. He has like fourteen million subscribers. So wow. he uploaded. So basically, what happened? He ex- as he explains it, he uploaded a let his let's play of a game called The Mortuary Assistant. And, oh yeah, uh, I've heard of this game. Yes, and the video got age restricted. He doesn't know why, so he appealed it and it was rejected. So he went oh. to his YouTube support guy and he says, "Hey, what's the problem?" To which his YouTube support said, uh, "We'll look into it." And they came back to him and said. Uh, it might be this one part of the game where, you know, the the main character is going through some sort of depression and, you know, suicidal things, which may cause it to get age-restricted. Interesting. So interesting what, yeah. 
Yeah, so what Corey did was he, he immediately watched other people's Let's Play. Uh, and, and mind you, he checked. He already checked it before this and saw that he was the only one that got age-restricted. So now he looked again, and he was looking for Let's Play that included the same segment that he did. And uh, that's when he ran into our boy Markiplier over here. Okay. Uh, Markiplier had the exact same depression segment in his Let's Play. Mark wasn't age restricted, so oh, so Corey ah. went back. To, yeah, so Corey went back to his YouTube support guy and says, "Hey, Markiplier has this same segment, and uh, he's not age restricted. What's up with that? You know?" So, uh, it's, it's so the YouTube support guy said, "We'll look into it," and then they unage restricted his video. Now, you'd expect this to be a good thing, you know? Yay, you're on age restricted. But no, Corey was pissed because uh, why did they have to use Markiplier to verify his innocence? Because he expected them to, you know, age restrict Markiplier too. That, you that's know? what I was thinking, yeah. yeah. I mean, that would have been fair to everybody. Yeah, yeah but, but no, uh, you know. So Corey sent a lengthy message detailing... Uh, he be- just telling he's he he was being honest. He's he thought there was some racism going on here because mm-hmm. it's it's unfair, and I agree, it is unfair. So he he wanted to know who was the one who did it, why they did it, and you know, <laughs> why why did they have to use Markiplier to verify his innocence? So wow. so uh, that they had a discussion for a bit on a phone call. Uh, about a day later, I think, uh, they came back to him, and they they re age restricted Corey's video, oh. and they and they age restricted Markiplier's video. Ah. I think I think I saw this before, and then um, and then I think Mark came out and actually said, you know, like he, th- I think he thanked them, right, for making it fair or something like that. The, this was, that I think that was Charlie's situation actually, most critical back mm. then, but yeah, this was recent. And yeah, I, I would. I, I'm not usually one to like agree with the racism card, and I still don't think it's really racism. I think it's pure favoritism in this regard. Maybe, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I I'm not gonna say. Oh wait, sorry. As you wanna you wanna go ahead. I go ahead first, bro. Okay, That's okay, all right. okay. Yeah. So I w- I wouldn't say it's. Yeah, I would go with the fav- the favoritism, you know, because it's because I feel like Mark has been one of the more vocal uh, YouTubers who have gone against YouTube on Twitter, especially. So, to for for this case to have to have happened, if uh, a you know sup- you know just just so he just so happened to be a, a black creator, so I sh- I'm sure that's why you know that's why the whole racism card came came out to be. But I'd say in the end, it's favoritism because I'm sure that, uh, sorry, his name was Corey, Corey, right? Yeah, Corey, Corey. Kenshin. Okay. Yeah, Corey Kenshin. So I'm sure that he's, it's it's hard to sort of circulate the entire YouTube space to find you know several other black creators who have also gotten age restricted because of this one little clip. So I think it just mm-hmm. goes back to favoritism because both are, you know, quite. Um, I don't know, quite famous in their line of work. 14 mil, Mark is closing to 30 million, I think, to, as of today. <laughs> so I guess yeah. it's be- it's because of uh, Mark's relevancy and, you know, his huge fan base mm. and how vocal he is on Twitter, which caused YouTube to sort of back off from him because they know how vocal he can be and he knows that he can t- his audience will be really defensive of him. And then in, in turn of uh, Corey's, I, don't, I, have no, I know nothing about his community. Me so neither, I can't, say, yeah. I can't say anything about that. But yes, I do I understand guess, why he feels like he's discriminated in this case. Yeah, I it could it could just be a a, a slip up a slip up from YouTube. But what what is the slip up? No one knows. Cause like I thought I thought maybe it would be the the main antagonist of of the game Mortuary Resistant. Uh, spoiler spoiler alert by the way, Mortuary Resistant the main antagonist is basically a naked white demon. So I thought that could be the case. But a lot a lot of people have has played the game and not gotten age restricted. I believe even with the with the depressing episode, full blow showing the demon, so on and so forth. So, in terms of uh, Corey Kenshin's case, I genuinely have no idea. I don't think the bot is racist? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> but it's still a it's still a, it's still a big slip up on YouTube's part, lah. So, um, Susan, only guy, please. Uh, I guess do it's time, Susan. It's time to answer. <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. 
<laughs> Susan answer will, the door. I will say though, um, I I think I'm on the fence. I think it's favoritism. Uh, I'm leaning more towards favoritism. However, oh, I oh, definitely definitely favoritism is probably a part of it. I think actually, yeah. yeah. However, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna outright uh, uh brush off r the possibility of racism this time because uh. <laughs> Because as someone who's been using YouTube f for about two years now, uh, to make videos and shit, I I'm no stranger to, uh, uh to like copyright strikes and all that. I'm I'm a, I'm a fucking nobody, but I, I have been able to get appeals through before. Maybe it's because I'm a small channel; they don't give a shit. But uh, yeah, I know a bit. I know quite a few cases uh in regards to like age restriction, especially now. Uh, now that people are putting a lot of pressure, one one the reason I th I'm not uh going to outright brush off the possibility of racism is because uh there's a another big case of this happening. Uh, I just mentioned it earlier with uh most critical Charlie. You guys know that guy? Mm -hmm, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think it was around 2020 or 2021. Uh, most critical like uh he. Uh, he got age restricted because he showed a video of a staged street fight of like people in animal costumes, and uh, he got age restricted because of that. And uh, he tagged Team YouTube once again. Markiplier was involved. He said like Markiplier has that same video in his Try Not to Laugh uh, challenge. It's the Russian yeah. one, right? If not wrong. Yeah, and he's not age restricted. So, oh, what what's this YouTube? This doesn't seem fair. So, and at the time. Uh, YouTube actually age restricted Markiplier after he said that. Now they both ended up getting unage restricted, but it doesn't change the fact that their first instinct at the time was to unage it was to age restrict Markiplier instead of unage restricting Charlie. So, uh, I that's why I don't. Maybe it's because they were trying to. Maybe they took a different approach this time because the last time they. Age restricted Markiplier, they got fucked. But like, who knows? Who, I, I highly doubt YouTube is the type of company to learn from their mistakes. So I'd say <laughs> that 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 theory kind of stands because uh, I don't know. What, you know, now that you mention it, I guess it's it's just a stroke of luck that Mark just has just so happens to to be like the the man in the middle of all of this, right? Yeah, Marky. Yeah. But you know what? The worst part about all fucking this was this was a. This was a discussion of like favoritism or racism, but on YouTube question mark. Uh, guess who? Guess who also chi Guess who also chimed in to give their little opinion. I don't know. H three H three. No, it's it's his little. It's H three H three's daddy Hassan, my favorite oh. boy. <laughs> Hassan Parker, I'm coming to what kill you. <laughs> Uh, Hassan, stop talking. Stop talking about things you don't understand, Hassan, and just box Sam high. All right. <laughs> His whole shit was, like, was coming for you. <laughs> he basically just said the whole corporate structure of YouTube is inherently racist. That's what he fucking said. What the Bruh. fuck? And his whole, uh, he somehow managed to bring Ben Shapiro and fucking Steven Crowder <laughs> into his whole fucking shit. Like, shut the fuck up. You're stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid. That's actually dumb. So, yeah. My gosh. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, it's not just YouTube getting the... Uh, getting <laughs> fucked in the ass right now. Twitch is also facing some heat this time. Wow. You guys know about that story? No clue. I've not been keeping it? up, actually. No. Oh. Yeah. So me. You have, you've been keeping up? Alright, what do you know about it, buddy boy? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said I've not, I've not been keeping up. I've not been keeping up. Oh, you, you haven't been keeping up. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess I'll explain it. Yeah. Um, bas basically, there was a, there was a bit of an incident recently. I think, I, I think you guys must at least know this. Uh, some lady got caught doing the deed on oh, stream. This one. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm familiar. I'm very familiar. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, Mike, continue. It, it is, it is, is this the one where like she gets banned for like. A little bit of time, and then someone else does something really minor and gets banned for like a month or something like that. No, yeah. no, no. Uh, is it? Is that the one? I don't know. Twitch has uh, been like, uh, Twitch has always been fucking inconsistent with their shit, but like, it's yeah. finally catching up to them this time. So, uh, well, basically, it started with this one streamer. Uh, 
you know, she was. <laughs> I didn't see yep. the stream, obviously. Why well, I don't watch Twitch. I think, I think like, we all saw the clip, right? We definitely saw the clip. I have never seen the clip. No, she, she was. She. She, she was, she was, basically the camera was pointing towards her upper body. She was leaning on the table. She was like rustling a bit, you know? It seemed like normal oh. shuffling. Like she was getting, like she, she was looking really for- she looked really uncomfortable. Cup. She looked really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like she was looking for a proper sitting position. But then people saw the, the glass door <laughs> and saw that she was getting fucked. Oh, oh my dude, gosh! Dude, but le- legit, towards the end of like that clip, we could literally see the man just holding her, her holding her by the hips, just like doing that, but it, like oh just yeah. walking her really slowly. Yeah, yeah. So they got caught in four K, and oh uh, my gosh, that's when our uh, and she got banned for about a week, a week. Wow! And uh, that's when G- that's when our boy Gideon comes in. <laughs> oh. oh, you're talking about this one, Mike? Okay, okay. Yeah. Now I'm on track. Now I'm on track. Yeah. He quote tweeted the video and says, "And I'm still banned." And <laughs> oh, I agree with that. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> so he was put it that way. It's he, the double standard like, once again, you guys. You see? Uh, it's, it's, it's not. It's not racism this time. No, it's sexism. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> much. Oh, it's double standard, bro. So, so she see, was when a guy a does week. it, it's all wrong. When a girl does it, oh, you all, you know, we'll let you off in like a week, you know. And, and that's what, and that's when, uh, he, that's when Gideon started like, uh, digging. All right, and then uh, there was a uh, something came out later. There was a lady like painting, uh, painting her boobs to like act as bras. <laughs> okay. that's a new one on that's stream. a new one that's a new yeah, one yeah basically she, a lot of skin were showing and mind you uh, guys get banned if they show if they show like an uh a peck or something or too much wow, neck. they will get, they will get banned for that oh that's but bullshit. this but this lady she was shirtless she was covered in paint uh to cover up her you know her milkers and uh, and she uh, I think she was banned, but not long. And uh, there was also a, another case. Uh, there was a panel, you know, a panel. And uh, <laughs> you guys know Violet Myers? No, what, what that name rings a bell. I forgot what he Violet does. Myers. Okay, I looked into it. She is a porn star. Wow. Uh, Pretty popular. She was on a Twitch panel for some reason. I don't know why they invited her. I don't. I don't think she has pretty any interesting things to say on the top on concurrent topics. But all right, they invited her, and uh, I, I. I think I sent this clip to a to our group chat. Uh, she showed her tits on stream straight up, just her tits on stream. It's just uh, nice. Yeah, you go. Guess how long she was banned? Like a week, two days. One day, what the fuck? One wow. day, <laughs> she was banned for a day, and that's when. Uh, so, uh, and this isn't like the only thing. Uh, th- these aren't like the only cases. It's not just like sexual things they're getting away with. Uh, do you recall this one case where this one Twitch streamer, uh, she got, uh, she got banned, and then she's she was tweeting about how she wanted to shoot up their headquarters. Okay. Wait, yeah. Wait, then, wait, this is pretty old, isn't it? No. Yeah, but it's still it's pretty relevant because uh, you know, uh, she got she was banned, she was perma banned, and then she she was molding obviously, and then she was talking about how she wanted to go to Twitch headquarters and shoot up the people there, uh, and then all she apologized. Obviously, she was getting tons of shit for it. She got unbanned. She got unbanned for oh, that shit. What? 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 Bro. Uh, it's not just it's not just that uh and, and, and you know <laughs> i'm gonna sound like a schizo for this uh you know why i think that's the case i you know why i think they were so lenient on her oh yeah she's a tra- she's a transgender oh my <laughs> ah, yeah so that that's uh uh by the way i'm not gonna go too deep into you know that discussion point is uh twitch is not enforcing their rules equally uh, so that's well, when Gideon stepped in. He he uh, capitalized on Corey's little racist uh, crusade on YouTube and decided to crusade Twitch about uh, th- this behavior. And it, it actually worked. They were trending. Uh, 
they got Twitch respond trending for a few hours before the trending was gone. It, it was removed from the trending page. Uh, and there is some rumors going on. Mind you, there's no confirmation about this. But uh, that was the second time Twitch was trending on uh, Twitter for bad press. And both of those times, they were taken off the trending page within hours. So there is a rumor that Twitch is actively uh, telling Twitter to silence anyone who criticizes them. And so far, they have not uh, made any response to these uh, cases. The, they've been completely silent despite everything. So, Twitch, if, if by some miracle you're listening to this, answer the fucking question. No, no, no so, yeah. Now I'm beginning to think that uh, the whole Twitch PR team is just consisting of women. I feel that way now. <laughs> oh. I, okay, a hot, I, it's a hot take, but I feel like men can't get away with this crap. If men did it, like, look, Jiren got banned, but all I these women are getting away with it. Of, yeah, I feel, I feel it's kind of uh, good, good, luck, good luck to Twitch. Uh, how has it, good, good luck to Twitch uh, coming up in a, with an excuse, like, I would say. Uh, I don't. I I think they're just gonna stay silent on this. They they they've literally just been posting on their social media like it's fucking nothing. <laughs> and every time someone oh. brings it up, they just go fucking silent. Answer the question, pussy. Answer the question. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah. GG. Yeah. Pla platforms suck. Stop supporting Twitch. They suck ass. <laughs> I'm moving to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well. So yeah. Um. I Did guess you... there's a lot of things going on right now, but I guess to wrap up the episode, I guess we can talk about that little of that little project we went to, fellas. Want to want to breach that topic, Azzy? Yeah, project. We, we, did, we did a bit of a business. You know, we had to do a bit of traveling. We had a That's business that, trip yeah. during the weekends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Want to start us off, Azzy? On that? My God. Okay, so uh, we decided to. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, Decided to finally get out of our our funny studio, yeah. pack up some water, pack up some deodorant because we have class, and uh, go to a convention, guys. Oh my god, we went outside our houses after like how long? How long has we, how long has the channel been up for? What yeah. a year, a year and a half. Uh, yeah, I just know, just months. just below you, just just, just below a year. Yeah. yeah, so it took us it took us nearly a whole year to go outside of our houses. But yeah, boys, bro. uh. I, I I think I think uh, Mike and Peter had more fun. I I caught I caught the the funny virus while I was there. Uh, good lord, that, that, that's basically worry. all I got. That's basically all I got from the from, from the convention. And don't uh, which worry, convention, which convention we which convention we which convention we went to? Uh, I forgot. Well, well um, we can't disclose that. We can't disclose that. Yeah, we can't disclose that. Uh, we forgot. Just... We forgot what the convention is called. So okay, yeah. okay, no, we, no, we, we can't. We, we, <laughs> wait, we did business there. We can't forget the place we did business at. But we, we did just business, man. What business, what business did we do? We what did business, business man? A... We did business. We closed some sales. <laughs> as, uh, as, I, as I so kindly put it on my Twitter, uh, we, we, attend, we went to a convention attended by people who don't shower. So... Oh, that's fair, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so I, I'd oh, argue no. that we were the, we were the nicest smelling people over there, and that says a lot <laughs> about something. Ouch. Okay, so uh, oh, we, as, uh, as you can tell, uh, the the three of us are are very important people. So we hired about what seven bodyguards, I think seven <laughs> bodyguards, right? I mean, we yeah, call them bro. friends. We call them friends. But let's be real; they're just bodyguards. Seven, uh, seven, 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 right? Yeah, about yeah, seven. Bro, we, we, but, let's say uh, no, there were uh, six six other bodyguards. Yeah, six. Other oh, bodyguards. okay. Yeah, so so six other bodyguards. There was three of us and yeah. six bodyguards, uh, basically. So yeah, not exactly. bad. Uh. Yeah. So let's 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 so, start, let's, start, let's start on day one, I guess. So how so day one was. Uh, Interesting, I guess. It started okay, off quite so, nicely. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let, let's just get, let's just you know no more beating around. But we went to an anime convention. Which convention it is, we're not going to tell you. But we went to one of your sweaty conventions. All right, go <laughs> on. <Nancy. laughs> uh, we went to some really sweaty convention, and well, I guess I start, starting something from day one. Day one was honestly, it's, uh, day one was was pretty terrible, wasn't it, boys? Yeah, well, for for many re many many reasons, day one like was I don't a I don't coaster. I don't I don't I don't understand like how how do you fuckers like line up for convention <laughs> early in the morning? You fucking <laughs> lifeless bastards! Oh my god! <laughs> huh? Dear god! 
Like I legit, we we wasted we wasted like an hour and two hours of our life standing in the hot sun waiting for a bunch of fuckers in Halloween costumes to open the fucking door for us to go in. As as huh? you can tell, as he had a had a whale of a time in the what convention. What a bunch of fucking idiots! Oh my god, and the smell! My god, put some as fucking going, deodorant on. Good lord! What the fuck, man? Like, bro. And 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 they and they and they and they, and they, and they, they it was such a fucking tiny convention as well. Like you know, you got your fucking your brony con, your comic con, your fucking incest con. What the fuck, you idiots? Oh my there, god. Right? Uh, oh my god! Like, like me and one of the bodyguards literally circled the entire e- venue in like, in like, in like half an hour or thirty minutes, uh, and we were like, "Is that it? Is that fucking it?" <laughs> oh yeah, and, and, and one and one more thing. See, I'm I'm not a guy that draws. You see, I I pay for my fucking art because I have money, right? You know. Oh my god! I I, I appreciate some artists out there, but most of you that go to fucking convention to sell your stuff are fucking trash. What the fuck? Oh oh, like here's a here's a here's a sticker of fucking Kia and Diluc making out for like for like uh, fucking fucking like ten fucking US dollars. What the fuck do you think you are? What the fuck do you think you are? Huh? <laughs> and and you you Genshin, I swear to God, Genshin Impact was a fucking mistake, cultural fucking mistake. I tell you. <laughs> oh my God. I hate. You know, I used to I used to actually like Genshin Impact. It was a fun game until you fucking bastards from Twitter came and wrote. Oh! Oh my 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 character is feeling oh, how dare you oh, oh, oh you fucking pieces of shit you guys we, there was there was a Genshin boot at that at this convention and you bastards fucking clogged up the whole goddamn place I just wanted to fucking go on a sh- I was so pissed off. So the but first as day was so the first day the first day was just fucking terrible. Okay, first day was so the first day was oh quite bad. God. You know. Like there were there was some footage of us like like going back home, like, the bodyguards and the three of us, and all of all of us were just dead. We just wanted to go home and sleep at this at that point. Uh, so yeah. So how how was the second day, guys? Can you a few a few changes? So a few changes. A few changes were made to the second day. All right, con goers, huh? Fucking con goers. First of all, we didn't go early to the fucking convention. We actually waited for the damn thing to open first, and wow, we saved a lot of fucking time and energy. Am I right, boys? Huh? Can I, can, oh, I, can, I, ju- can I just say, bro, that was just raw emotion. There was, <laughs> it was just raw emotion, as a. I do. It just, I, I, it just, I, it just, I, pour, I it just poured you, out. Bro. It just, it just poured out. You know, I'm sorry. All oh, the, the stench, oh, the fucking place, the place, the place giving me the, the, the funny, the funny virus. All the time I wasted. Oh my god. Uh, hey, how am I supposed to beat this? <laughs> I honestly. God. All I, the I Genshin fans, all the fucking Genshin fans. My God, just, just, just. Can we, can we just put Genshin fans in? Can we just like buy a cunt, buy some land and just put all the Genshin, like the Twitter Genshin fans there, and just leave them there, like please, with a bunch of, <laughs> with a bunch of cardboard cutouts of Diluc and Chi Chi and Jean or whatever. I don't know. Can we just do that, please? I'm fucking dead. Bloody animals! Animals! Animals behave better than you guys, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> You know, you know, yeah. you know, for a, you know, you know, Mike. For a sec, I was gonna, like, I was gonna empathize with the fans for a second, but fucking hell, who, who hurt you, Azzy? Who, who, who fucking hurt you, yeah, bro? That, the, that, yeah. that, conve- that, that convention, that convention altered, <laughs> altered my view on anime fans overall. You know, who's yeah, the guy, yeah, who's, yeah. The, who's the guy? Who's the guy that said anime was a mistake? I fucking agree with the guy. What's the guy? The the studio Ghibli guy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with everything he says now. My God, whose idea was it to to, to draw a fucking fucking cartoon girl and make everyone fall in love with her? What the hell? Huh? Yo, ah. yo, yo, yo. Uh, uh, my, my, you win. Um, you win this. He wins this segment, bro. He wins this. <laughs> bro, bro. I, dude, I was gonna go like I was gonna be lawful good. Uh, Mike, you you go ahead. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to bring this back. I'm gonna try to defuse this thing. So yeah. So that, really... that was that was that was basically the first day. I I wanted I wanted to end myself. That was I the first almost, day. I oh almost, my god. Did, I almost did not want to go for the second day, but then a uh, Mike over here was like was like was convinced me to go, and I was like, all right, fine. I want to go hang out with my friends. Yada yada yada. Okay, friendship is magic. Woohoo. And then uh, oh my god, there were furries. There were people in furry costumes, weren't there? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I for- almost forgot. The Genshin people were so bad, I almost forgot about them. There was like a bunch of furry people. There was a guy in a fucking gym suit. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's wrong? What's wrong with us, man? Legit. What is wrong with anime fans, dude? <laughs> oh my- I can't. Yeah. I just can't. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm gonna need to like. You know, you know, you know what's you know what's the worst part, boy? I made I made friends with genuine strangers that day. You know. Who like call me out for drinks and stuff? I made, I did good things that day, and I still wanna fucking burn the damn place down. <laughs> How bad it is! <laughs> and why, so. why, why were they furnished? Like, who fucking invited them? It's an anime convention. <laughs> why the fuck were they there? That was, bro, that was, that, that was like ten of them. That what are we doing? Were they like sniffing the kids? Or what, what was going on? Like, I, I was why, like, like why? There's a blue one. There's a <laughs> Orange one, there's a fucking black one, there's one in a gym yeah. suit. What the fuck? <laughs> Who invited you? Why are you here? Why are you? There's a there's a fucking there's a fucking pet shop literally in 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 a mall nearby. Go to the fucking pet shop. Why are you here? You're just making the place smell more. Well, I want to wake up all my neighbors. I do apologize to dude, all well, the people. Well, well, as you right can now. as you can tell, audience, uh, as he had a wonderful time at the convention, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. So lads, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys I'm gonna let you guys take the the second day because I think I'm a bit too worked up right now, you know. Um, uh, uh Mike, uh, I'll, I'm just gonna uh, give yeah. a really general statement, but uh, Mike, uh, please please uh, ha- have your say, you know. I, yeah, let it all out. Honestly, yeah. honestly, anything I'll say right now will be a disservice to that amazing <laughs> segment we just had there. So you know, let, me, you, let me let me let me let me let me start off the second day. On the second day, I had I had to pick up I had to pick up Mike and you know go go to go to go to said place go to our 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 you know in in my green Bugatti in my silver Bugatti. Sorry about that. And then we had to go to my to my private jet to fly to the place, right? And on the way there, on in my silver Bugatti, that was like we spotted an anime fan. No joke, we spotted an anime fan with Genshin Impact fucking of all bloody things, Genshin Impact badges on his on his fucking little handbag or whatever. I'm fucking some 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 fucking curly head fucking smelly fucking dude i could literally smell him from the fucking bugatti you know oh, i just boy. wanted i just wanted to press you know what's the best part this, this bitch had the audacity to just walk across the road didn't even look left right he just walked and put his hand out like a like a fucking kick like that i wanted to bump i just wanted him to hopefully he never made it to the convention you know if he's going to the convention i hope i hope he like ran out of money halfway or something and then he just stayed in the you know he just stayed in the airport while we took our freaking like, jet there you know so yeah, that that's how the second day started. So you guys uh, wanna, you guys wanna, you guys wanna continue? Um, <laughs> wow. I, <got> nothing. <laughs> I, 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 I need a few. I just need a few like seconds. No, but you know, boy. Gen- genuinely, I thought, I thought I compressed it pretty well, and then it just, it just exploded. So yeah, that, that was, was that wasn't even like that wasn't even a constructive argument. That's just that was just raw, pure raw emotion. I was just oh like, I God. hate all of you. I hope all of you repent your sins sooner, please. And well, yeah, that was beautiful. That was well, uh, Mike, somebody you know, invited I... somebody. Somebody invited for for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. I get... okay. So I got nothing much to say. Uh, I will <laughs> say though, uh, <laughs> men, men of the anime community. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just, I just gotta ask this one question, dude. What compels you? <laughs> what compels you to live, honestly? Is it what your Genshin Impact waifu? Is what it compels... your is it your favorite waifu? Is it Asuna? Is it uh what... what's her name? Is it that 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 fucking mountain lady Ganyu, whatever her name is from from Genshin Impact? What, huh? what, what compels you to stand there in line for hours and hours online to meet this one lady who probably thinks you smell like? <laughs> Yesterday's <laughs> garbage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anime fans, why do you, why do you keep lining up to see a cosplay? Like she just she just she she's just wearing a very expensive Halloween costume. Like what I want. I'm not I'm not trying to sh- I'm not trying to shit on you. Genuinely, I just want to know. No, I, I am, I am, I am. We get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, bro. Oh you, my could, God. you know, you know, you, you could, you could like improve on your life. You could like stay at home. You could work hard. You could get that Bugatti, you know. But no, you decided to wait in line for three fucking hours for some girl that will forget about you in two minutes. Hey, one oh thing I noticed God. too. One thing I noticed too. Any booth with like a with like a woman showing uh a bit more cleavage than usual, but that's that has the longest line. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I fucking. Know. I mean, That's I mean, a... woman, woman. I mean, woman. I, I, I'm, I'm usually the peacekeeper, but you, you, usually women talk about like you know, like don't objectify us. Like, what the fuck, huh, ladies? Huh, huh? What do you? What, 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 what is this, huh? Oh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear a, a freaking cheap Halloween costume with a lot of tits showing and make a bunch of sweaty, smelly fucking dudes pay money to buy my pictures. 
Like, bro, yeah, they, but... they do get paid, though, to huh? be fair. They do get paid, though. I will, I will. And you're telling me to treat you with fucking respect? Huh? <laughs> well, I have more. I have more money. I have more money than you with more clothes on. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Okay. No. Okay. That, that's another question, though. I'm gonna, I'm Does gonna it gonna make you happy? Lawyer. Does it make you happy? Does it make you happy lining up that long to meet those women? Uh, who no, it, pro- it probably it probably does. Why? Oh, 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 sh- hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who? I want to. Uh, I want to. Wanna, I want to once again emphasize. They probably think you smell like yesterday's garbage, if not last week's garbage. So, yeah, th- does that make you happy when you when you finally get to the end of the line and they greet you with that with that high pitch? Does that make you happy? Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> does that make you happy? Uh, 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 give me PTSD, uh, Mike. Please don't do that. <laughs> you know, you know what's the most saddest part about all these guys? Like, you know, when 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 me, Mike, and Peter, when me, Mike, and Peter lined up, and for some, yeah, because we tr- we tried, we were like, okay, let's see what's so cool about this girl. Nothing was cool about this girl. Well, plot twist. <laughs> and we would actually sit there. We would take pictures with her. We talk to her. We banter. We would get an Instagram. Hell, hell, me and me and me and Peter even. One of the cosplays even invited us invited us out for a drink even, you know. If you don't believe me, fuck you. And yeah. And then I and then like I, I like walked to the right a bit and I'm like, oh that was that was pretty cool, I guess. And then the next guy walks out to me, he's like, oh I can I can I have it? He, he, he literally like fucking shivering. He's shivering. Bro, it's just a woman, relax. He's just shivering, bro. Relax. Yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Uh, for those of you for those of you guys who think we're just a bunch of incels, bro, they got invited to drinks. It, what do you guys have to prove for your for your trip? A picture a picture and a poster. Bro, at, at least at least we took a picture with the girl, bro. You bought a homemade printed out picture of the girl, bro. <laughs> that we can get that and we you, probably get for free. What the and fuck? You paid, and, you, and you paid for a chance to for her to pinch your cheeks. How does that make you feel? Oh my god! Oh, oh. that's a dig at someone. Oh, oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, okay, that's a bit. That, 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 that's I, a bit. It's it's a bit too sad even for me, and Mr. Well, Sudo. Right, Mike, is, see, is, I, I think I think I think that's a that's a good place to stop. I see. All right. Uh, Peter, finish this off for us. What, what are your <laughs> okay. thoughts on no, this? No, 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 no. We can we can continue. No, you haven't. You haven't. Uh, you guys haven't talked about day two. Yeah, talk uh, about day two, guys. Come on. Hell. Uh. Uh. Why? How do I, I, this go? How do I, I, this how do I go? bring this back? How do I make us look less? Okay, okay, bad? okay, okay, okay. So day day two is much more better, right? For you guys at least. For me, it was well, just the same. Okay. Here's here's what this, I want to say. Okay, this I like man to... still going. <laughs> I will. Uh, we can save it for save it for part one and part two. Okay, we can talk about day I two. Guess so, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. Yeah. So watch out, guys. If you want to see me get pissed off okay, again. So no. so one thing I want to say is that as a general statement, you know, we talk about. Um, so this is where I'm gonna be try my best to sound reasonable, okay? As much as I wanna sound like Azzy, but you know, um, I'm gonna talk about our friend James. You know James, right? Mike and Azzy. You know, you know James, our good friend James. Uh, yeah, James yeah, 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 James. Yeah, James. So, so he, uh, he, he, he spends. He, he's a big spender on uh, the women. And uh, you know, I, I I had to manage him uh, that day. You know, funny. Of, uh, okay, wait. All right, yep. bro. Hi, Azzy again. Sorry. Funny you mentioned James. Remember, remember that the shivering soy boy I I mentioned in the in the previous oh. rant. Yeah. Oh this is basically James. We're giving you a example of one of those. One of you, basically, you do convention. You Genshin playing, oh. Genshin Impact playing, convention goer. <laughs> okay, okay, Azzy, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, please proceed, Peter. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so like having to uh, manage. Uh, he, he uh, James is one of my talents. Uh, uh, for what it's worth, um, one of your favorite talents. Along, a long way, and you know, I, I, I have to. I can say one thing about why James and probably. Uh, many, many, many of you um, people uh, are into you know these sort of things. You I'm just keeping quiet to, you know. to see the um, ladies dressed up in costumes. You know, uh, costume. that's cool. Uh, well, uh, all I can say is uh, this: uh, speaking from a, you know, just how uh, James. Uh, uh, let's let's take James as an archetype for uh, you people. Yes. Uh, on a day-to-day basis, he doesn't really interact with a lot of women. You know, I he's hate probably... James. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he spends a lot of time on social media. He doesn't go outside very often. He jerks off. He jerks and, off. And, 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 you know, he 
doesn't speak to a lot of girls. That's the main thing. And he's a fucking wanker. All I can say is that you know they these these men queue up because it's probably one of the rare times where they probably have the fucking guts to talk to girls. Even if it is for those few seconds. Parents feel James. Shut up, Ashley, for fuck's sake. Well, (laughs) I'm going to look at it this way, okay? It's like kind of the same thing as to why people fucking subscribe to OnlyFans, you know? Some people just need this sort of thing. Some people just can't bear to do do the actual thing casually. Or sometimes they're they're just incapable of it. I mean, yeah, the same people probably. Well, argued, well, some some go for it worse than others, and some just deal with very low self esteem. So these conditions like James? are an outlet, you know, for for them to you know speak to women, you know, just like even if it's for those few seconds, it probably makes their day. However, they are, I think, uh, as as bad this as is... it is to the normal or public eye, I... there is little to no redeeming factor to these people. But I can see that these oh, ladies. Geez. In at, at at face value, at its core, these ladies make you know these uh, individuals happy because of those few minutes they speak to them. Because I don't think yeah, you know, I wish I wish I wish I was a hot girl. I wish I was a hot girl in massive teeth. The amount of fucking money I can get from these people. Oh my god! Ah, uh, what a waste. Well, yeah, that's what I can next, say. All next, I can say is that next I'm not going to give slide. you guys too much shit, but I can understand that you know if you guys. Just find if if this is what you want to do with your lives and it actually brings you real joy, I have nobody to fucking tell you. See, not I love, to I, do love it. I love how you know this I mean? this this uh, this topic loops back to our very first topic of how men's how how men are becoming soft pieces of shit. Huh? Bro, the fucking I mean, prime example. I, I I mean honestly, it's I mean I wouldn't say maybe so, some some you might you could say it's soft, but I'd say some some men. More, maybe this is all they fucking have, you know. Maybe this is the yeah. one thing they can go back to. That makes them soft, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you fucking testi- fucking retrieve your testicles and go and actually put yourself out there, <laughs> guys. Come on. Well, retrieve your testicles. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, so what? So the, the the what? The main lesson here is what? Watch old clips of Andrew Tate and get your life together. <laughs> that is <laughs> fucking. If it works, if it works, it works, bro. If it works, not everybody can can be a top G. Okay, it oh, that's too far. Thing, okay? That's that's too bad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but going, know. going, well, going, going back to going back to to James's theory. I guess it's kind of like. Oh uh, my god! How do I how do I how do I how do I I'm de- I'm defending James. Okay, Let, uh, give me a chance to defend James. All right. Oh, you've been okay, giving just... James nothing but shit the entire time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, James knows about our podcast, he watches the podcast. Yeah, he, no, he wouldn't know that he's, we're talking about him, he's that kind of guy. And he's, and, and he, and he's completely fine with it, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, okay, James, uh, James, if, you're, if, you're, if your name is James, hi, by the way, I don't okay, actually hate you. All I can say is that, uh, in spite of everything, James is self-aware. And that's okay, the yeah. one thing I'm at least glad Which about. Which is even more depressing, okay, okay. anyways. <laughs> J- James, when you watch this episode, if, you, if you're if you feeling a bit offended and you want to come down here and defend yourself, we'll more than happily have you on, buddy. So oh, just... my <laughs> James, oh my god. James is going to come on. No. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah. Oh my god, I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just found like 17, 17 other bad things to say about James, but I'll try to defend him, all right? Go ahead. So, it's, it's kind of... I don't mean, maybe maybe because I'm I'm just that cool. What can I say, right? But I feel people people like James, and there's so many, there's so many of them out there. Good lord, it's like it gives them. I guess it gives them a, a reason to interact with the opposite gender. Question mark. No, that's what I mean. Is that what I'm getting? It's it's more like the one. It's the one rare occasion where they can interact with ladies who look kind of above average, and it's okay, you know. <laughs> that is it's, that it's, that is so sad. It's, it's sad, it. but dude, think about it, put it this way: it's a safe space for these people to interact with women without getting shit for it. It's uh, only it's literally oh, like all, it's, all it's, three all three of us all three of us have gotten shit for it for years, and we are still okay. What's wrong with well, them? What we're just built different, isn't it? We're just built different in the end. Oh, that's too bad. Skill issue, isn't it? I'll give them shit for it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lord. This episode's becoming a mess. <laughs> yes, this is probably the messiest, messiest episode I went on. I don't know who, who, whose fucking fault it is, huh? <laughs> hey, you're <laughs> fucking messing this off. 
Anyway, well, uh, uh, sub- subscribe, subscribe so that James can uh, redeem himself. All right, guys. So Let's that go. James can redeem himself. <laughs> yeah, so that he can become okay. a top G. Okay, if this if if this channel gets big enough, we'll start a, we'll start a dating show. Our first guest will be <laughs> James. <laughs> we're gonna bring on James. He's gonna get too scared. He's gonna be like the girl's gonna be like, "Hi, my name is I don't know Samantha," and he's gonna piss himself. Okay, it's it's okay. It's okay, as he he's protected by the screen. All right, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Okay, yo, fair. I, honestly, I have to I have to just back to differ, bro. He he can't even do it behind the screen. He can't even type. I have to I have to stand next to him oh when gosh. he's typing, you know. But you know that's besides the point, you know. Uh, James, I love you. You're, yeah. you're my guy, you know. I love you too, James. Yeah. Uh, uh, James, this is not a one-sided beat down, alright? If you want to come on and defend yourself, <laughs> we're more than happily have you. I love yeah, you, to, James. To, you know, to all the to all the to all the Jameses out there, you know. I, I believe in you personally. I still believe in you. It's a small glimmer of hope inside of me that <laughs> no, still no, believes I have to in say you. Say that uh, James May, if you're watching this, I love you. Oh, I love guy. you too. Yeah. James me here. Well, uh, any well, any other James out there? Speaking of know, James, a uh, big time rush is on tour right now. My boy James Maslow, Logan, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kendall Schmidt, Let's Carlos. Go. I don't know his last name, but you know, uh, Carlos Vega. I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. That's <laughs> right. Big time rush is on tour right now. You know, go check them out. They're they're the OGs and. Uh, <laughs> And anyway, yeah, yeah, and with that, and with that, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, uh, the podcast doesn't go even worse next episode. And yeah, uh, take oh care. yeah, and uh, stay stay tuned no? for part two of uh, our convention. We talked about uh, briefly about day one. We'll get into more I will, into I will, that, and we'll talk about day take, two as I will, well. I'll take my medication before we talk about that episode. So yeah, uh, take, yeah. Thank, thank thank you, you everybody. If you are a James, we still love you and take care. Bye bye. Uh, uh, sub to us Bye-bye. if you're a James. Uh, leave a like. Uh, follow our <laughs> socials. Uh, Mike, is there oh, anything you'd like that, to say about your channel? That should be that should be our our, our fan mm-hmm. name, uh, James. Uh, all, the, Jameses. all the Jameses. <laughs> all oh, the Jameses. Let's go. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. I have a new video yeah. on the pseudo intellectual up right now. You can go check oh, that yeah. out if you're interested. So uh, yeah, I think that's all. We'll see you all next time, whenever that may be. Bye bye. <laughs>